her. No, it's a gift. I was surprised with my God. <laughs> I didn't pray for it. Welcome back. My good name is the office DJ DJ Viano. Miss it amara ko karibu ani. Uh, it's all about kujibamba hapa na pale. <laughs> na shanza conversation. I remember the last interview it was ah samani na the energy liko to the next level. Miss it amara. Yes. Karibu on the praise mix. Thank you so much. Tumekukosa sana. Pia mimi nimewakosa yani mbaya sana. <laughs> what was happening bana? What was happening chini ya maji while you are uh, away? While I was away, um, I just took some time to spend with God, work on myself. I needed a time away from all the clutter and stuff. But at the same time, uh, God has blessed me with a new baby boy, bouncing baby wow. boy. Yes. Wow. So. Koja kidogo before to enjoy the story, blessings. Yes. Nini liku push for you to go uh, like to that level that uh, you do not want to talk to piano, you don't want to talk to even to instruments, pale kwenye uh, studio. You just need that time for you to 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 be with God mm. and to understand God more and more. What pushes you to that level? Uh, I was out there mm. being there for everyone else, <laughs> and I realized um, you can you cannot satisfy everyone. You okay. cannot. Okay. You cannot fulfill the desires of everyone. And I remembered when Jesus Christ was always going to the crowd, he always found time to go back to God and have that like recharge. You get a recharge and then when you go back to people, you at least have something for them. You can't be burned out when you're an artist and you're giving out all you're all over, you know, just trying to be creative, do something on the studio, people are calling you and stuff like that, so it can be draining. Sometimes you just want to close yourself in and just find find that inner strength again for yourself, for your family, okay. and for others also. Well, I, yeah. I understand it is like, uh, it's totally hard to handle your family, to handle work, yeah. and then the ministry part of it. True. But now that you are coming back, what are, what what is that thing about you feel like I want to change this I don't I I not operate the same way I've been operating way back now I'm coming back to the same same people to the same industry ah nini ambayo unakuja kama umebadilisha um I'm coming with uh, I'm not going to be complicated most of my songs are kind of deep style and stuff like that but I want to connect with people in simplicity mm -hmm. that is what i will be bringing back mm -hmm. and at the same time i want to mentor mm -hmm. so i'll be working with a few uh, guys who are like interested in music and they don't know how to start mm -hmm. so i'll be mentoring them also i realize it's not good to grow alone it's not good to to to, to be there alone it's good to work with people so i'm going to be taking uh, simplicity at the same time taking the background as I push others and pull them yeah okay you've talked about now that you don't want to be complicated and uh, each and every time I looked at your uh, uh, music wako, especially the concert the concert setup yes it's like Monzi uh, for, for somebody to come up with that uh, uh, setup it is now it is it is complex honey because in I require a lot and uh, you uh, conversation that it's, a, it's like a chain of people that you work with yeah. now uh, are you going to change the concert setup that you've been able to to kwa uh, hiyo now you're coming back to the singles that uh, maybe kidogo i remember your reggae track are you yes. coming to that <laughs> reggae track <laughs> no, you're coming no, to no, you're no. still in the concert setup no it will be concert setup mm -hmm. but i mean simplicity in terms of we're just here to worship God, so it will be. It will be the con the concert uh, setup will still be there, B but now we're bringing in more people, and what we will be doing will be very simple. So that even if you are just attending our our concert for the first time, it's a song that you can easily catch right there and sing with us. It's not like a, a team show, a one man show where we are there and you're here and you don't know the song and the song is hard for you to, you know, it's like a class. Shika, raka, raka, it's hard. No, mm -hmm. I, I want you to come and you get the song very fast. Mm -hmm. You're able to sing with us, yes. Wow, yeah. I'm going to talk about concert setup. Ah, no, I'm <laughs> talking Wow, we get going to talk about it. You have been able to represent. I just yes. say, like, you have been able to represent, yeah. and we are really proud of you that yeah. you've been able to come through and do it perfectly. 
Thank you. Because kuna wale wana represent yes in that level. Mm -hmm. But kidogo when you dive into that uh, muziki kidogo unaona kwamba that uh, kuna gap somewhere. Mm -hmm. But uh, whenever somebody ana, ana watch your music, mm -hmm. pale if you feel like manze, you you are like doing it yeah. and that uh, that is your your space you've just created your space on your own up with you thank you baraka sana. let's come to the blessed one wow yes. whereby god has just blessed you <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel i'm i'm I feel blessed mm -hmm. i am blessed actually did you pray for the blessing uh, no it's a gift i was surprised with by god <laughs> i didn't pray for it i was wow. just you know um mm -hmm. God, when God gives you with a gift, mm. uh, you just uh, say thank you mm. and you accept wow. and you are happy. Yeah, so I am really happy and blessed. Mazeo na jua, meko na conversation with people and uh, uh, most of the time we, are, we wanted to be real to one another mm -hmm. and I'm thanking God because you are so real that uh, you didn't pray for it. It's yeah. a gift God, God mm. Let us go back to the preparation part of it. Now God has given to you. Uh, like this is this this is the phone. Go ahead and use it mm -hmm. and make it uh, to be it, uh, so that it can be able to bless other people. Yeah. You know uh, when you study about the is it uh, uh, the lady called Anna, mm -hmm. whereby God blessed it. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's like God, I need it. Mm -hmm. But you, God has given to you, and He said like I'm giving this child mm -hmm. to the to the to the ministry. Mm -hmm. Let let God use him to bless mm -hmm. other people. Yeah. How did you prepare now that God has given to you? Um, immediately I knew that uh, we have a blessing coming on the way. Mm -hmm. I, I know God opened doors, mm -hmm. you know. He can give you a gift that requires a lot of resources mm -hmm. and then not provide the resources for you. Mm -hmm. So God opened a way. Mm -hmm. We prepared, you know, in time when we waited for it, clothes, mm -hmm. uh, whatever the, the, the gift mm -hmm. will need. Mm -hmm. we, we, God had already made a way for me to be able to mm -hmm. have it. So I cannot say that I struggled or anything. Mm -hmm. I can say, you know, one thing Viano you should know is that yes, yes, yes. It's, it's not everyone who will come to your station and say, um, I was lame, but look at me, I can walk now. Mm -hmm. Or I never had a baby. I've prayed for this baby for 20 years mm -hmm. and now it has come. Mm -hmm. There are those who God also blesses them mm -hmm. with a gift you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. It's all blessing it's all good you know it's all a surprise you you're waiting and then finally god gives you you don't wait at all and you don't even expect and god surprises you so god has a way of you know gifting everyone you know it's a surprise surprise for everyone so i cannot say that uh, your story must be the same as someone else's yeah, yeah. story yeah you should enjoy your own story you should be able to embrace it so um uh, I tell everyone else be prepared for god's blessings anytime you know God has a way of packaging the gift and surprising you. Whatever gift it is that you're waiting, whatever surprise it is that you're trusting God for, He has a way of packaging it for you. surprise to nayo. And then He also has a way of making you feel like, Oh God, uh, you really thought I needed this. This is your will. Thank you so much. Yo, so I'll tell everyone out there, whatever it is you're trusting God for, just know that God knows the desires of your heart. And he has a way that he will package it for you and bring it for you. I kichukua muda sawa. Ata pengine ujayombe atalet. Umeombe sana bado tu ataleta ni muaminifu. Trust him. Don't look you focus your eyes so much on the gift. Eh? Mtoto mtoto mtoto. Uh, let me let me like uh, sijuni kunywe dawa gani, nifanye nini to pre. Unaweza fanya yoyote. Then ichukue 20 years. And then when you're not even Ata umechoka, you know, waiting, you're like, we've given up. And then, surprise, <laughs> there is your gift. Wow. So, God has a way of packaging it for you. Yeah, so that's what I'll tell people. Trust the God who gives the gift. Not focusing so much on the gift, but the God of the gift. Yes. To see focus so much on the gift, yeah. I try to focus on God of the gift. Yes. Now, Miss Itamara, allow me to take you to, through this path. Maybe, have you ever... Uh, have a conversation with God. Maybe you are praying for something, mm -hmm. and then maybe your timeline is out, mm -hmm. and then you are like, God, for sure, una una poa sana. Because mm -hmm. in the Bible, anasema, before the formation of the earth, God already knows uh, your name is being tattooed in His palm of the earth. 
yeah. of, the, of the, his hand yeah. and then before the formation of the, of the earth God already know about Macy Tamar yeah. maybe in that battle room have you ever come across a situation whereby you're like God Manze, I need this thing even mm. you know uh, right now Manze, I need it mm. but why are you not coming through Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever been in that situation and how was it? Yes, I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. I've come to that situation where you're trusting God for something. It has to come within a certain time. It has to work in a certain way. And then you're going before God and praying and saying, God, please come through, come through. And then deadline in Africa, mm -hmm. time in Africa, huna yokitu natarajia. Pengine hata ni, pengine ni pesa, pengine ni, ni, ni kajob. Mm -hmm. Una, whatever it is, una, una kumitaradia God will come through at this moment, at this particular time, and then it kose kuja. Uh, imefanyika hivo mara mingi kuangu. Uh, but what has happened is, I uh, just go back and say thank you. Mm -hmm. wasn't meant for me. I'll pray for the next one. Because wow. God, uh, sometimes he keeps things away from you that he knows maybe kikuja taleta shida filani ama tashushu filani ama siyo yu hame kupangia eh uneza apply job unapply 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 out of the hundred kuna kamoja kata ingiana but sasa ile nye ija ingiana si ku discourage you say mesi taomba tena mungu wajibu maombi apana just keep praying God has that one particular one for you and if the fact that ija kuja within the time nye unataka it's good to always be thankful. Me want you don't know sema. Can you instead of saying just saying I want, I want, I want. Mungu unifanyie. Mungu mimi nataka pesa. Mungu bila unaweza angalia nyuma useme wenyewe God. Hii umenileta this far umenibeba. Umeni you've enabled me to do shows, you've enabled me to do concerts that have costed me a lot of money. Pesa si kwa natarajia itatoka wapi. Lakini imekuja. Why should I not trust you right now? Always look back. Me even don't ask them. Tazama mm -hmm. tu nyuma. Ume kula ndio. Ume lala ndio. Uja kufa. Kuna watu natamani life yako. Na wewe unaizaje kuhichukia. Like, you can always look back and say, Yeah, God, you've been faithful before. Even now, you will still be faithful. So isipokuja that particular thing. Be grateful. And then, wait for the next. Oh, wow, Macy. Mm. You're coming back to the industry. And uh, we all have this conversation about the industry. Yeah. Umeipata vile uliwacha ama you feel like kuna vile industry kidogo need to have kind of work to to be at the same in the same page with where the industry is right now. Industry is, is industry. Industry badilikangi. Mm -hmm. What now will change is what you, your heart mm -hmm. what you're bringing to to it yes. Mm -hmm. uh, ministry na industry there are two different things. Industry is all about this is my job. This is what I do for a living. Ministries, even if I don't get anything, even if I get food through this music, I'll still do it. For you, that is ministry. So industry is still the same. People are still, you know, Kanyagiai, uh, Wengine, okay, wow. still uh, jumping on people, still using people's names, still using clouds. Mm -hmm. Even gospel musicians are using clouds you know, mm -hmm. to get views and likes. So it's still the same. What as, as it, it will not change. Let me just say it will not change. Yeah. Become a religion. <laughs> now come up to that direction. <laughs> what what about religion? Ah, uh, become a religion to kuna tu wase wako apo for the money. So we endo wakikuwa. Interest ni tafauti. Eh? Interest ni tafauti. Yeah. Kama sasa ya shaka hola. Sorry to go there, but it's yes, true. It's yes. what is trending right yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Watu wana, wana, wamekufa in the name of God. Mm -hmm. Na weo jamaa mekuchukua pesa zako na kila kitu yako. To make, you, to make sure that enye unona life ni worthless. And then finally, kills you. Mm -hmm. You see the spirit there. And I'll tell people, you know, God is not a God of confusion. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the devil uses the same old tricks. He will use the Bible to make you kill yourself. Wow. But Jesus says, I came that they may have life and have life in abundance. So, mtu akikwambia ukufi, wewe ni shetani. Ju shetani anakuja to come to kill, to destroy and to to steal, destroy and to kill. Uh, yeah, so nta, ata Yesu alitemtiwa, alimwambia kama wewe ni muone wa Mungu jirushe. Jirushe kutoka kwa pinnacle mpaka chini. Acha atatuma malaika wake wakushike. Sasa hizo angekuwa mjinga zame by the way, jirushe tasio ni suicide. Watu wangapi wamedanganywa using the same word? Yeah, because the same word will tell you first. Ama the only way you can see God is when you are dead. So, unaona inye watu ni kufe, nene ni muone mbuku. So, 
so <laughs> no, do not be deceived. <laughs> Jesus was not deceived. He used the Bible <laughs> to counter the enemy. He used the same Bible to counter the, the lies of the enemy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, first at the way you go find the one who is 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 the we all see the effect, but in Anzia Wapi, where do you, where will you mangalia the story? Unangalia, is it the, the congregants do a on a, on a mess mm -hmm. and giving people platform for them to take advantage? Mm -hmm. Ama is in a talk the other direction. And it ended back to the story of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus alipo kwa tempted na enemy and ambiwa Jerusha from the pinnacle because atatuma malaika wa kujewa waku he used the same Bible and said, Do not tempt the Lord, your God, something like that. So, um, what I'll tell the believers, you will be lied to if you do not know the, what the word says. Because the, the enemy will quote for you a verse in the Bible and run with that verse. yote. Unaona wanafunzi wa Yesu waliuza mali yao kazilete kanisani. So wewe ndio uuze leta kanisani. But unafaa kukua na another word of God in you that you can quote back to the enemy or whoever it is that is trying to manipulate and con you. Unazambia the Lord has said uh, in the land where I'm sending you plant, you know, grow, uh, be rich, prosper. Yaani huku duniani amesha kubariki huku duniani unini hukue sasa mbona uuze zote yeah i think also the men of god news need to rightly divide the word of god yes giving is not bad giving is biblical but when you use giving to manipulate people so that they cannot progress in life mtu analala nja but bora letepa si hiyo hapana ama si mtu analala nja na na pastor wake lazima akule si 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 kwa ubaya lakini uh, we should rightly divide the word of god like god is not only concerned about pastors he's also concerned about the widows he's concerned about the orphans he's concerned about the stranger in your land the street children, hey, the street children those uh, who are who are in need so some see pastor pastors wengine wanaenda wanaendesha helicopter na kuna mshirika hapo wamefiwa baba na ana baba mama ana na ataenda apate chakula huko kwa orphanage lakini church ndani hakuna mtu anamshughulikia so you should rightly divide the word of god nyinyi wachungaji ndo mta 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 hukumiwa zaidi more because of what you teach the people using the bible and to benefit yourself yes so i'll tell every believer soma neno ndo usikuwe candidate wa deception usidanganywe hivyo wow. Yeah. wow thank you miss tamar i think umeka watu sawa <laughs> maybe your last word yes. na vile watu wanaweza kupata kwenye social media platform uh, my last word is uh, as a nation let's pray very hard and as a church let's remember that christ said magugu na ngano zitamea tu pamoja so hakuna vile utakata yote pamoja and encourage you to trust god provide for you. Ah, uh, mtanipata social media ni Messi Tamar. Ah, uh, hiyo ni Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter kila mahali ni Messi Tamar. Yeah. Wow, so Miss Tamara uh, umerudi na umerudi through the praise mix. Nashukuru tu sana. Yes. Uh, we're looking forward for more and more from your side Thank you. so that we can be able to hold uh, to continue with that uh, family uh, setup mm -hmm. that we can be able to hold our hands together na to move forward. Cindy, yeah. so thank you so much. Uh, I pray that God uh, come through in your ministry so that you can do it in a different way in this season and I hope it will baraka. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much mtazamaji for tuning in. I hope today's episode imeza kukweka kwa level tofauti sana and uh, for me uh, I've learned a lot throughout the week uh, tumekuwa kwa ma headlines hapo na hapa hapa na pale and uh, nimekuwa nikijiuliza maswali mengi some uh, some of the question meza ku drop into uh, pastor prince na meza kupatia mwelekeo so the thing is uh, kuna kidogo wale watu wana feel uh, uh, that uh, I need to do this thing maybe you have a good uh, intention about it but uh, 
go back ask yourself is it genuine is it the right time for me to do that stuff and at the end of the day you can be able to uh, to, to to get that sound and better come go ahead ama kidogo hold on so that uh, the right time you can you can be able to unpack whatever the the vision ama the uh, the exercise ambayo unataka kufanya in a good way and uh, I'll, my parting shot today is that uh, never ignore your experience because at the end of the day you've been able to uh, to dive into that experience you you and your god because you have all those those uh, maybe lessons that you may learn through that experience you've been able to uh, maybe for example go without food for the whole week not because you lipenda but because the situation you kwa pale view and uh, that is those are the lessons that can be able to push you forward to create another season whereby you can be able to get everything in your in your in your basket and not spend everything so that you can be able now to have a season with food so never ignore the sound of experience because of somebody else motivation because you never know motivation is good yes we agree but we don't know if you have just copy pasted because at the end of the day you can follow it and, and uh, you get to a place whereby things are not working so i'm encouraging you today that never ignore the sound of experiences that you've gone through because of somebody else motivation thank you so much god bless you sana see you next sunday